wait a minute. Better get started then. So, you guys wanna learn about how cereal was made? Oh, well, you're gonna hear it anyways. Roll that royalty free music. So, it all started with a man named Dr. James Jackson, which I should be pointing at right now if I did my editing right. So in 1863, this man was responsible for making the absolutely disgusting and gross grain cakes. So these grain cakes were made for medical patients that had issues digesting food. These cakes were prepared by pouring milk into them overnight and letting them get soggy. I don't like soggy cereal but it must have tasted as soggy as the cereal tastes right now. So, of course, he patted these cakes, called them granola, and made some money. Mmm. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, hey, look, here are heroes. We got John Kellogg and Will Kellogg, both brothers, ready to make a change. John Kellogg was born February 26, 1852, and would later die in 1943 at the age of 91. He was a doctor focused on creating nutritional health products made out of veggies and nut products. Then John Keller was like, hey, I like that granola I got there. How about I name it called Granola Nola? Make some money off of my own version of it. One day, the brothers left the granola out overnight on a baking sheet. In the morning, they found out what they had done. And as they tried to clean up the sheet, the granola split into thousands of little pieces. Which John, like a normal person, was like, wow! and then he realized that he could make cornflakes out of these. And with this newfound invention, they created the Kellogg's brand and sold their new invention out to the public. Now today, cereal has changed. N not like overall, but it, it usually has more sugar in it, which means it usually targets younger audiences. Like, for example, if you look on the box of, like, Reese's Puffs or something, not sponsored, you'll find, like, little games on it and stuff, so you can attract those younger audiences. Did I say Reese's Puffs? I really like Reese's Puffs. Not only that, um, a survey done by ABC News not too long ago stated that 31% of people surveyed in America would rather eat cold cereal for breakfast than any other breakfast food out there. If this statistic were to be true for all Americans, 100,976,000 people would eat cereal every day in America alone. For all, breakfast cereal has a very similar effect um, that to that of fast food on Americans because people have places to go, they gotta go broom broom you know so cereal is overall quicker to make and sometimes can be even cheaper than a traditional egg and bagel breakfast for example well now that's done see you guys tomorrow